covenant that's been held near and dear to our people since the time of Abraham. And it's interesting, as we do, we just began the cycle new of reading the five books of Moses. And this week we read the portion about Noah, and everybody, of course, knows the story of the flood, and Noah built an ark, and two would I have these animals, seven of these animals, rain, 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 and everything's going. But the, one of the most interesting lines in Parshat Noah is when we first get introduced to Noah, that says, Eila told Noah, Noah each sadiq, tamim hayami dorotam. These are the chronicles of Noah. Noah was a right was a a, a right a good person. He was righteous in his generation. It's interesting. What does it mean to be righteous in his generation? His generation was awful. God was going to destroy them all. What kind of left-handed comic men is that to be righteous in your generation? But it's you take a step back and it says that the Holy One, blessed be He wants us to understand that there's influences around us in every society in which we live, some good, some bad. And it's important as you raise your child that you raise him understanding that there's influences in his society that are bad influences. And if he wants to be a righteous person and walk the ways of God, he needs to understand that just because everybody else is doing it doesn't make it the right thing to do. And that he should be... God doesn't expect perfection from any of us, but he expects us to be to take what we have and to do the best we can with it in our own time. And so we hope as your son grows and matures that he understands that he has an opportunity and potential to be this wonderful human being, which we know he will be, and that someday somebody will say that he also was Tamim Hayam Rotan, that he reached and fulfilled the promise of his generation. And that's a wonderful blessing as we begin his ceremony, as we enter him into this ancient covenant. At this point, we're going to ask the grandmother to bring in the baby, who's going to hand the baby to, looks like a great aunt, is my guess. <laughs> no. <laughs> to another great aunt, a lot of greats going on here, who's going to hand the baby to the grandmother. And as the baby comes in, we say the Hebrew words, blessed be he that comes. You forgot one. Uh, Miss? Mike, Mike, did you want to? Hold them, pass them to my mom. <laughs> <laughs> he just drop them. He okay. can't, you don't have the muscles to hold them. <laughs> and when the baby comes in, we say the Hebrew words, Blessed be he that comes, Baruch haba. Baruch haba. Baruch haba. Hanimo lishmona. Vaira birana lachalimo or. Ben chas ben aron. Ben aron ha kohen. And now we're going to gently put the baby down on the chair of Elijah. Just put him down there and hold him. And we pray that the prophet Elijah, the prophet of our ultimate redemption, will bestow his blessings upon this beautiful little boy. Now we're going to hand the baby to the grandfather, who's going to share the baby with me, because otherwise we can't get anything done here. <laughs> You're going to have to bring the baby this way. It's the only way this is going to work. There we go. <laughs> Yeah. I love these socks. These are great. <laughs> Hold it on diagonal, dip it in the wine, and put it in the baby's mouth. This is a big baby, actually. <laughs> How big was this guy? 87. <laughs> and he was three weeks early. Really? Obviously, he doesn't have tiny jeans, does he? <laughs> no. Someday he'll be playing at Wilmington Stadium, you know, be a linebacker. Just grab a about that. <laughs> okay, he likes it. He likes it. Why not? Sorry, kid. Tuesday was a good one. <laughs> he was a wino. Oh, we Hold on. <laughs> For the record, I haven't done anything to him yet. Oh, oh. 
Adonai Eloheinu Melech Alam Asher Yitam Yitzhakanu Al Hamilach Baruch Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech Alam Asher Kidshan Yitzhakanu Uksibanu Mechad Amen. And we all repeat Keshem, Shenichnas, Wabrit, Cain, Yikanez, Wetorah, 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 Just as your parents have entered you into the covenant to maintain a life of pure merit and good deeds, and we all say, Amen. You survived, little boy, and even your father stayed erect. <laughs> Is that a whale joke? Yeah, I was going to say. Oh, okay. Yes, <laughs> okay. as a matter of fact, it is. All right. The Breed Me Law is a two part ceremony. The first part is actually entering them into the covenant. And now I'm going to have the grandfather come over here and hold the baby. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I didn't watch that. Yeah, we're going to continue with the naming of the child. Go we'll stand next to the parents. We begin with the blessing over wine, followed by the blessing over the circumcision. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech Alam Borei Pri Hagafen. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech Alam Asher Kidei Shedid Mi Betan. Chok Shor Asam Vetzat Hav Chatam Vabri Kodesh. Al Kein Mitzchar Zot El Chai Chel Kenu Tzirenu Tzavei Lahat Tzil Yirot Tzirenu Mitzchachat. Laman Brito Asher Sam Biv Tzirenu Baruch Atah Adonai. Korei Tabrit. Amen. And now we will bestow the Hebrew name that the parents have chosen for their beautiful, not so little boy. Hello, Hainu Lahel, Tainu Kaim, and I yell it as I love you, Billy Movi, Karesh Movi, Israel, Chan Yako, Ben Arona, Bat Abraham, Yismach, Abel, Say, Chalat, Abel, Gilly, Mother, Freeman, Ah, Kakatu, Yismach, Abi, Chavi, Machir, Lada, Techab, Namar, Via, Vora, Life, Via, Ram, Yitz, Boks, Atsa, Tamayit. Vomala bedama yi chayi, vomala bedama hai chayi. Vene emar za harlam davar tu of tor. Asher karad and amramush votoli its ha. The yami der la chok is rail, bri itolam. Vene emar va yam alvram its ha beno beno tunamim. Kashir tigato elohim. Ho du ladrona aiki tov, kile la am chasta o chaim yakov zakat hangado yet. Shame Shanik, not a break, can't get a slitter of Hufama, Saint Tovim, Vinomar, Amen. Our God and God of our ancestors sustain this child. We declare that his name in Israel will be Chaim Yaakov. May his parents rejoice in their offspring with love and wisdom. May they be privileged to teach him the meaning of the covenant which he has entered today, to inspire him to practice righteousness and speech and deed, seek truth in the ways of peace. May this child, Chaim Yaakov, grow into manhood as a blessing to his family, to the Jewish people, and all humankind. As he has entered into the covenant, so may take blessed to our marriage and a life of good deeds. And we all say, Amen. 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 Goes great with Percocet. <laughs> 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 I think we just get a big one and pass it around everybody. <laughs> I have a straw. We can put it right in the box. <laughs> you want to tell us a little bit about the name? Um, Chaim Yaakov is... Uh, Dylan's Hebrew name. Um, in the Jewish religion, the number 18 has a lot of significance. Um, it's a very lucky number, and, and the, the chai means life. And, um, um <laughs> Dylan's name is Jacob. So his name means life, Jacob. I can't do it anymore. <laughs> That's it. You okay, <laughs> you did good. <laughs> and of course, you know, Yaakov obviously has great significance for the family. Thank you. And as I was mentioning, when you take a name, <clears throat> and in Judaism we recycle names, so we name after pe people who were important to us and whose memory we want to maintain and to keep. But when you take somebody who unfortunately did not have a long, healthy life, the idea is that you add to it 
So you also bring luck to the name. So they took the name Yaakov and they added on to Chaim, which means life. And of course, those of you who have seen Fiddler on the Roof, they always say, L'chaim to life. Mm -hmm. So the whole concept you had life, that, that we want to keep the name in the family and he should have a long, healthy, prosperous life. And that he should fulfill the dreams that we all have for him today at the time of his Brit Milah. And of course, the dreams of the Brit Milah, which we keep repeating, the child should know Torah, Chupa, Masim, Tavim, understand why being part of the covenant is important. A marriage worthy of God's blessings and Masim Tobi make this world a little better for being here. And we all say, Amen. And at this point, we say a prayer for speedy recovery for the little baby boy and also his one week postpartum mother who's <laughs> <laughs> having a tough go of it. Amen. And finally, we're going to have the grandfather bless him with the ancient blessing of our people, the threefold blessings that God gives us in the book of Numbers. So if you repeat after me, Yevarechecha, Yevarechecha, Adonai, Adonai, Vishmarecha, Vishmarecha, Yair, Yair, Adonai, Adonai, Panav, Panav, Elecha, Elecha, Vichunecha, Vichunecha, Yisa, Yisa, Adonai, Adonai, Panav, Panav, Elecha, Elecha, Viasem, Viasem, Lecha, Lecha, Shalom, Shalom. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord show you His favor and be gracious unto you. May the Lord show you his ever-growing kindness and grant you, Chaim Yaakov, your parents, grandparents, and all of us, his greatest and most treasured blessing, that of shalom of peace, and we all say, Amen. Amen. And of course, that's the end of the ceremony of Brit Milah, but it's a mitzvah, it's a commandment to celebrate with the parents when they have the opportunity to perform this mitzvah. And those of you familiar with the Jewish tradition understand that we only use three letters to spell the word celebrate. The E, the A, and the T. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, maybe uh, the grandmother can lead us in the mode say, We'll help you. Hamotzi lechem mein har. Now you rip off a piece. Mazel tov. Simen tov, mazel tov, mazel tov, simen tov, simen tov, mazel tov, mazel tov, simen tov, simen tov, mazel tov, mazel tov, simen tov, simen tov, simen tov, simen tov, simen tov, simen and I have a good friend who's a rabbi in this vicinity over here, Rabbi Lebo, who always likes to say at this point in the Brimi La, that that was Jewish for y'all go eat now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. So what, what is our responsibility and how to care for the snack? I'm going to go over that with, we're going to take the baby upstairs and everybody else is going to start eating and we're right. going to talk. Don't worry. <laughs> the food is in the dining room. Help yourselves. Drinks are outside. The drinks are outside. <laughs>